GoFundMe accounts are set up all the time from help for medical expenses to covering funeral services. Well, we found about two dozen asking for help with what many call a wild goose chase, the search for Forest Fens treasure. And as News 13's Brittany Bade reports, some people are actually donating to them. Probably not. To get the dream? I think so. It's a treasure that would change someone's life. It's Every time like, we're like, remember here, guys, look for that forest fence treasure. <laughs> now about two dozen people who are searching for Santa Fe author Forest Fence treasure. Said to be hidden somewhere in the Rocky Mountains have started a GoFundMe. So you, you came on the property because of Bo? Are you serious? Yeah. There's even one for this man. His is trying to raise money to get him out of jail after he was arrested last week for breaking into the author's home during his search. I was taking that box of clothes right there, like the poem said. But others are asking you to help them get their treasure hunt off the ground. Absolutely not. I think they're on their own. <laughs> Most accounts look like this, empty, but there are some that have collected thousands. I'm going to put everything aside. I'm going to whatever, quit my job and leave everything I know and go find this treasure, I think um, that might be a, a little bit of self-deception. UNM psychiatrist Dr. Jeff Katzman says searching for the treasure as a hobby is all good and well, but thinks fundraising for it crosses a line. People we spoke with aren't sure if the treasure will ever be found. I don't know. And say they're not giving money to something they're not even sure is real. Why would I? It's there are many, many good things to donate to. Brittany Bade, KRQE News 13. Most of those accounts are just asking for money, but there are a couple that promise a percentage of that treasure for those who donate.